Hello and good morning. It's Heather and Phil and we are on the side of Highway 441 in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park near Cherokee, North Carolina. And this is kind of an area where the elk hang around. And this is our second year in a row coming here in mid-September to see the elk. And um, we got here a little bit later than we did last year. Last year we got here right at sunrise. This year we got here maybe 30 minutes or 45 minutes after sunrise. And last year there was a lot of elk in this field and they went over towards the river that's on the other side of those trees. And this year there was only one, uh, but we know where they usually go after this. So we're gonna go up to the rest area, which is right up there. What's that rest area called? The O'Connell Lofty Visitor Center. Thank you. And we're gonna go there and make a pit stop and then go find some more elk. But uh, I, I made a couple of photos here and Heather might've gotten one too, we're not sure. And I made a quick video clip. so. Before we go to the next spot, we'll look at the stuff that we shot right here. We have developed names for all of the elk that we photographed in this video. And this one's Big Daddy number one. This was the big elk that was in the first field. And that's the only still photo I made of it that I liked. And here is a short video clip that I liked of Big Daddy number one. Well, we came over near what's called the Job Corps Center. And uh, last year when we came here, we found this spot, but we came from a totally different direction. This year, we figured out how to drive to it instead of walking a million miles or a long way. And there are a few more elk over here, and we've been making photographs of them from the car. This elk we have nicknamed Fuzzy because it still has kind of a velvet look to its antlers. And all the photos with the Canon R6 are mine. And here's Heather's first photo in the video. This is a more up close shot of Fuzzy. And uh, she was using the Nikon Z50 and the 200 to 500. This is Big Daddy number two. This shot was extremely backlit, but look how huge that thing is standing there. And you can see some other photographers in the background. Here's Heather's photograph of an elk that we nicknamed Scratchy. And you'll see how it got that name a little bit later in this video. And the next photograph is my photograph of a deer, which we called Tree Eater. And you'll see that one as well a little bit later in this video. Beautiful animals. And here is my photograph, another one of Tree Eater, as it's heading over towards a tree to take care of some business. Here is Big Daddy number two. This is another fully grown male bull elk that was over in the general area that we were at near the Job Corps Center. Now Heather, this is also Big Daddy number two, but Heather thought in this shot it should be named Grumpy. She made this shot and two more of Big Daddy number two. She had um, a little bit more range than me. She had an APS-C camera, so she had 750 millimeters equivalent, and she got some really cool shots of Big Daddy number two also known as Grumpy, there near the Job Corps Center. This is a video clip that I made with the Canon R6 and the 100-500, and that's Tree Eater, and Tree Eater's standing on the road there near the Job Corps Center. That's a private residence in the background, and Tree Eater is going to wander over and greet Scratchy. They're going to do a little bit of uh, antler blocking, and then they're going to go on their separate ways. But that is Tree Eater on the left and Scratchy on the right. We are still riding around kind of in the general area of the Job Corps Center and uh, making photos and some video clips. And Heather got a bunch of really cool photos of one of the younger males as it was kind of eating parts of a tree. So that is kind of fun. Heather worked on photographing Tree Eater for a long time as Tree Eater was standing at the base of this pine tree and making all sorts of interesting faces and had its tongue sticking out. And it was just really cool that she captured all of these impressive and interesting photographs of Tree Eater as Tree Eater was doing what tree eaters do. And that is, of course eating trees, and making lots of unusual facial expressions, she caught a lot of really interesting things of this elk. And while she was doing that, I, I uh, saw that she was making lots of photographs of Tree Eater, 
and I made a video clip with the R6 and the 100 to 500 of Tree Eater doing his thing over there. What a interesting behavior that we were able to capture there at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. This next set of photographs is all about Scratchy. I, I would say that Tree Eater was Heather's favorite elk to photograph and Scratchy was my favorite elk to photograph, but here is a photograph that Heather made of Scratchy and soon you'll see how Scratchy got his nickname, but in the meantime we'll just check out how handsome Scratchy is and I got really lucky and caught Scratchy in this field and because there's trees way in the distance that had a blue or cool look to them and Scratchy was in the field and Scratchy had a warm look and the field had a warm look. It's nice to get both warm and cool tones in the same photograph. I really enjoyed especially this little section of photographing Scratchy there near the Job Corps Center in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Now in the next couple of photos we'll get to see how Scratchy got his nickname Scratchy came over and there was a piece of pine tree that had been ripped off probably by an elk and Scratchy spent a good bit of time scratching his face on this little piece of a branch that was sticking up. And in this shot you can see Tree Eater in the background on the left and Fuzzy in the background on the right. We're here now at this field kind of near the Job Corps Center and there's one, two, three, four uh, relatively young males right here that we're photographing and there's a the big the big bull is all the way at the back side of the field there's a white tail deer just spooked him look it's tiny it's so little there's a bunch of them there's like six that's neat <laughs> the deer that scampered across the field and spooked the elk were so small you couldn't even see them in the video clip because the grass was taller than them and then I switched to my stills camera and got the photo of the very last one and this one was so young that it had spots as it was crossing the road. So I'm making this clip with my Nikon ZFC vlogging camera. Some of the other elk clips have been with the Canon and the 100 to 500 but this is at 50 millimeters on a crop sensor. I was in the car when I made this video clip and the elk came close to me, not the other way around. Now here is a long distance shot of the same elk. This is fuzzy, 472 millimeters. For this one, I was outside of the car. Here's one of Heather's shots. This is of Scratchy, I believe, and uh, what a beautiful animal. She made this shot at 500 millimeters, 750 equivalent on the Z50. And here is another one of my photographs of Velvet or Fuzzy. And this is another 472 millimeter shot. Here is, I'm not sure which one this is. I think this is probably Scratchy, but I'm not sure it could be Tree Eater. Beautiful shot that Heather made 500 millimeters up close. And I made a photograph. It was like a camera show while we were there. This guy had two... 1DX Mark III's or something equivalent to that and there were lots of other photographers with interesting gear there. Here's Heather's photograph, 500 millimeter shot of Fuzzy with his velvet antlers and here's an up close shot. Of course I wasn't actually close, it's a 500 millimeter shot. This is a elk that we haven't seen in the video before. This is one we call Stumpy because his antlers are missing. And here is Heather shot. This is of Tree Eater. And in that field, there was kind of a pile of weeds over in one area, and Tree Eater spent the entire time over there. Here's another one of Heather's shots of Tree Eater. Tree Eater was by far the most animated of the deers. You got more expressions out of Tree Eater than all the rest. And here is Heather's shot. This is Stumpy, and you can really see how Stumpy got his nickname from this photograph that Heather made. A 290 millimeter shot with the 200 to 500. All right, thanks for joining us from right here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park at the at and around the Oconalufta Visitor Center. We'll come back here again next year and maybe one more time this year. Um, my good buddy David got a picture of an elk uh, with a really serious frost around it that was pretty cool. So. 
we might come back when it's colder, but we wanted to make sure and get our September trip in. Thanks for watching. And as always, we look forward to seeing you in the next one.